Hey there friends and family, I hope you are well. I wanted to make a quick video because I have the opportunity to partake in my third vision trip to Recife, Brazil this October and I'm beyond excited for it. As some of you know, for those that don't, I actually went on my first vision trip to Recife in October 2017 with a group of coworkers from my company where we partnered with our host family, Craig and Mary DeLille, who lead the Brazil headquarters for South American Mission. And like a lot of people, I had an idea of what a mission trip would be like in another country that's different than here in the States based on stories I've read and videos I've watched, but I really wasn't prepared for the impact it would have on me or the connections and friendships I would develop, many of which I still have today. That trip was filled with so many great memories and experiences that I still cherish. And something I learned was, even though there may be a language barrier, that didn't hinder making genuine relationships and connecting with people where they are. I then had the opportunity to return to Hasife the following year in October 2018, and I didn't think twice about it. This time with a different group of coworkers, but still partnering with the same organization and host family. This trip was another unique experience where I was able to reconnect with friends I made from my first trip and connect with new coworkers who I probably wouldn't have otherwise. And because of the impact the first two experiences had on me, when the opportunity came about to return this October, I was eager to be a part of it. South American Mission has been working to see the Church of Jesus Christ Christ multiplied and transforming communities by embodying the kingdom of God throughout five countries in South America. The Hasefe headquarters is located on the outskirts in a forgotten section of Dois Unidos and serves as a safe haven for children and adults in the surrounding communities and provides community development by partnering with local churches and the people by responding to their immediate needs, as well as offering music theory education, a football ministry, and many other resources. It's encouraging to see such an impactful movement pouring out into the next generation, and by doing so, improving the future of those families and communities. The work our team does while there is many things, including making repairs and refurbishing areas around the mission center and music school, but also spending time with our host family and connecting with the community. We make time to play with some of the children, attend worship services, and it's also time to bond with coworkers and hear their why behind what we're doing there. I believe as a Christian, it's important to put aside our busy lives and be interruptible like Jesus was. Mission trips can sometimes be viewed as something self-seeking or even selfish because the notion of doing good can be addictive to our prideful nature or done so for the wrong reasons. When we feel inspired to help those who may be marginalized in a less fortunate area, it can give us a sense that maybe we're not such bad people. But my reason for wanting to embark on this trip is not just to serve others in another country, but to allow His grace and love shine through every act of service I partake in. This trip allows me the opportunity to depart from home, step outside of my comfort zone, and enable me to share his gospel, goodness, and love in another nation. I know God will use me no matter what I do, as long as I'm willing to step out in faith and allow him to stretch me and my willingness to do whatever is asked of me. I'm eager to boldly go forth and unashamedly proclaim the gospel of grace and humbly wash the feet of my brothers and sisters wherever the destination may be. And if you're interested or considering joining a trip, feel free to reach out to me for more details. If you've been on the fence or put aside taking a step in faith like this, I would encourage you to think and pray about it. It would definitely be an experience like no other, and this could be your time. But I look forward to returning to Brazil and documenting our trip. I pray that our team will be open to allowing God to work through us and reveal himself to us like we've never seen. If you would like to support us, you can pray for our team, our time there, and for safe travels. And if you feel inclined to support us or South American Mission financially, I'll have the links tagged below, or you can reach out to me. But whatever it may be, thank you for supporting us.